that was an easy one. Okay, let's see here. This person is, uh, oh, this is my question. I'm thinking about installing some hardwood floors when I fix up my current house, then I'm going to rent it out. What's the best type of flooring when I put this house up for rent? I want cheap and long lasting. I assume I'll have to give up one value for the other. Now that's an interesting question. Um, that's a really interesting question. When, we, when we're doing houses for ourselves, we have a certain amount of motion, emotion that goes into the decision. When we're doing a rental house, it's like a spec house. You can check the emotions at the door, okay? It's all about money. Because when you're, when you're renting a house out, there's, a, there's a, a, a little formula there. Money that you don't have to spend is money you get to make, okay? Well, then let's not spend some because that's why we're having a rental house so we can make money, okay? One thing, we don't want to spend much money. We have literally hundreds of customers, repeat buyers frequently, that are in the rental business. And what we find with them is they usually buy some of our small lots. They buy our stuff in warehouse sales. You know, if, if you're in the, you know, the, the bottom half of the rental business, price is, is everything, okay? So maybe we have a lot that's a little bit darker than what you want. Buy because it's 20, 30, 40 cents cheaper. Um, you know, you've got options. Some people in rentals that are on the lower, definitely on the lower end, will buy small lots and make rooms different colors. Okay, it's all about saving money. Now, as far as longevity goes, do you think that uh, using two different colors makes any difference in longevity? No, it has nothing to do with longevity. The when we're talking about wood, um, you know, if you're buying a half inch product, you're buying the best product you can buy. Doesn't really matter what color it is. Now, in LVP, we don't recommend going under a 12 mil floor just because the, of the stability issues. We don't want to go through all the work of buying a floor, installing it, putting in trim, and then having stability issues and the floor going bad, and we save 30 cents. Bad idea. On a thousand foot, that's $300. Don't buy cheap LVP floors. Nothing under a 12 mil floor okay, because you want to get that balancing layer, you want the construction that, that will give you a chance to use that floor for a long time. Again, we want to save money, and if we're replacing floors, we're not saving money. So, um, you know, you don't have to give up long-lasting to get cheap, you don't have to give up cheap to get long-lasting, okay, except a little bit in LVP. Right. In wood, no. We have so many options, we buy, we literally buy out Tons and tons, tractor trailer loads, 20, 30, 50 tractor trailer load deals where we'll clean out warehouses. And when we have a thousand lines of inventory, some of it's more desirable than others, okay? Catch us with some of those less desirable lots, whether it's because of color or size, save you some money and stick it in that rim.